The hypothalamus produces gonadotropin-releasing hormone, or GnRH, which stimulates the anterior pituitary to produce luteinizing hormone, or LH, as well as follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH. This then stimulates the development of the follicles in the gonads. These follicles release sex hormones, such as estrogen and testosterone. Estrogen and testosterone go on to have a negative effect on the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. GnRH agonists have a strong affinity and mimic the GnRH hormone and bind to the GnRH receptor in the anterior pituitary gland, causing strong and continuous stimulation of the receptors and subsequent release of LH and FSH. This causes an initial flux of the sex hormone. After continuous stimulation of the GnRH receptor, they eventually become desensitized to the GnRH hormone. Over time, after desensitization and receptor downregulation, the pituitary shuts down its production of LH and FSH. It is no longer responsive, and this leads to a reduction in the production of sex hormones, leading to hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, or low sex hormones. Eventually, the effects will wear off and the receptors will become resensitized. Therefore, continuous dosing may be required. With GnRH agonists, there is initially an overstimulation of the GnRH receptors, which leads to an increase in LH and FSH and estrogen and testosterone. Chronic administration eventually leads to the suppression of LH and FSH, resulting in the suppression of sex hormone production.